Tom Brady is, in my opinion, the greatest quarterback to ever play in the NFL. His decision-making ability and accuracy have made him a force that at times almost seems impossible to stop. But you have all seen this video, and needless to say, Tom Brady is not very fast. So the question came to me, if Tom Brady had 99 speed, along with all his other talents, would he be completely unstoppable? And today we are going to test it out. The first test will be a game test where we will play five drives and see how many times out of five we are able to score. And then we will simulate an entire Patriots season with 99 speed Tom Brady and see just how good they do. So if you guys could do me a big favor and drop a like, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's aim for 2,000 likes. If we hit that within the first two hours, I will drop a Madden code in the comments of this video. Also, comment down below, and this is a big question. Do you think Tom Brady is the GOAT? And if you think someone's better, let me know who you think is better. Really, really quick, I'm gonna be giving a Madden code away on my Instagram once I hit to 40,000 followers. Go follow me on Instagram. I have codes for both consoles. Go follow it. As soon as I hit 40,000, we'll give away some codes. Okay, so here we go, guys. We are in the game. You all understand the challenge. 99 speed, 99 acceleration. I did not change any other stats. Obviously, that brings him up to a 99 overall quarterback and by far the best in the game. How this works, I go custom play options. I have to score on every single one of my first five drives. That is the challenge of the video. I got to find a way to make him unstoppable. And to be honest, I think he will be unstoppable. The only slider that I have messed with is I have turned up game speed. So obviously right off the bat, I want to even just see what this looks like. I know they don't have a ton of read option in this playbook, but I just want to see. Because when you look at Tom Brady, you just associate it with, it's like a turtle. You just assume it's going to be slow. But when it moves fast, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna be able to do this. Five times to avoid the forfeit. Five times I have to go down here and score. Okay, so I wanna make sure that I still throw the ball every once in a while because I don't want him to get too fatigued at all. I want him to stay relatively like in decent health. That's a nice throw to Gronkowski. I do have great receivers. I have great tight ends, but most importantly, we gotta run the ball. We gotta show off this insane speed, but it's more about unleashing the power of the combination. Your Tom Brady, you have the Tom Brady accuracy, the Tom Brady throw power, the smarts, but also if you get into any trouble, like right here, you can spit out of it and you can run like it's going out of style. Oh my gosh. Okay, that gets us down to the 11 yard line. This is the only the first drive. I don't want to get too confident. But as of right now, I feel really, really good about this challenge. I don't think I'm going to run right here. I, I do want to see. Yes. Throw that right over there on a line. And we are currently putting up on the screen. One for one in this video with TB12. He looked good there. Like, he looked, I'm just being honest. He looked a little bit unstoppable. Okay, drive number two of five. Got to do something very similar. Okay, we have good field position here as well. Which is awesome. Uh, field position that is going to allow me to make some pretty good reads. And we got a nice, easy throw over the middle to Julian Edelman. Good stuff. Now, hurry up offense. Three for three for 42 yards. And we've been able to run all over this guy. Okay, Gronkowski go through the middle. When you are when you're, when you're you drop back, the most important thing to watch, guys, is just how the tackle play it. You see how Clowney did that type of rush? It's called a speed rush. He tried to get to the outside rather than just like holding him. That leaves that gap wide open. Beautiful stuff. Okay, we're here. Very, very close. I do want to throw this ball to Gronk, ideally, if I can get that out to him. But and yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Two for two, and it doesn't even feel like I'm playing Madden right now. It feels like I have just, I have completely hacked everything. This is our third drive. We're on our own 32K. This one's going to be a little bit more of a challenge it's not going to be near as easy to do it on this one because it's a longer drive but i'm still confident that we can you know, just don't make any stupid decisions throwing the ball make sure to be confident and sure of every single read and he will make the throw you have guys like lamar jackson you have people with speed but when you combine speed and accuracy you're looking at a combination that i don't know if it's possible to stop oh that's jj watt that's J.J. Watt, and he's outrunning J.J. Watt. That, not many people can do that. Okay, here we're going to run P.A. Post Day. This is not over. Clowney looks like he's playing relatively decent defense, but look at this. You got the dot accuracy over the middle to number 80. 
We're gonna score every single drive. I'm, I'm gonna do this. I know I said five is where the eggs on the head forfeit is, but we're gonna do this until we get stopped. It could be like, literally, it could potentially be like, oh god, no, 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 no. You can outrun the cake, run away. Be smart. Okay, their pressure has been a little bit better, uh, and their coverage has been a little bit better, but you cannot, whatever you do, three for three, chuck that on the screen. TV12 is a bad dude. He is looking like a bad dude right now. Okay, this drive, this is our fourth. So if we get this and one more, I will have completed the challenge. I don't have to do the forfeit, but I'm going to keep going until I get stopped. I'm genuinely curious how many times I could do this in a row. Yeah, got him. Look at the perfect accuracy. Throw it on a run, but how do you not catch that? That's terrible. Yep, wide open. Wide open to Chris Hogan, and he throws it on a line. Let's get it. Okay, I want to try a deep ball here to Rob Gronkowski. I'm not going to throw it unless I know for sure, because... Oh, I, I know for sure on this, though. I, I know for sure on this, you just put in a spot. Unfortunately, I said I know for sure and then I didn't get it, which makes this awkward. So now it's, now it's off. Bronx not open. Second window is going to be for Julian Edelman. He gets open. That is four. Okay, this is four. If I can somehow convert this, not going to be difficult with TB12. It honestly is not going to be difficult whatsoever. I'm just going to look around, find the hole, and I'm just going to run it in. If, because if you watch the defensive ends, you can kind of decide, okay, where is this part? Okay, that guy got chop block. He looks like he got some room over here. And actually, we had no room. The second Adam goal. Gronk, Gronk, Gronk. Pass lead low. Beautiful throw to the end zone. And that is four for four. Okay, we're about to make this five for five. He has been on absolute fire. Okay, we're starting on a 33 yard line. This is to not have to drop 17,000 eggs on my head. This would make it so I don't have to do that. Let's see. Hogan has a chance over there. I, I low-key, just because it's just because it's Tom Brady, you can throw that ball. That's the thing. It's not just the speed. If it were just the speed, I don't think I could do this. But the fact that it is the speed and the accuracy. You could not put that ball that I just threw in any better spot than he just put it. You simply could not. Another throw, like right there. Those are just straight dots that he's throwing everywhere in the field. Okay, if I score here, we get the five for five. Uh, but I want to do the whole first half. I want to go the whole first half, see if we can score every single time. Okay, no rush there. Yo, got him, coach. Where did you guys... Up? I honestly have never seen more people run to one side and leave the middle wide open. Okay, five for five with 99 speed Tom Brady. Let's go six for six. Let's make this one quick, though. We're on our own 20 yard line. Let's just see how fast... He could do it. Okay, Gronkowski. I know I can hit him pretty much anywhere on the field um, if he's got a decent route. And no, I don't need him. Pass lead that up to Julian Edelman. He's going to run a little bit. That's going to get us very, very close. We could potentially score seven touchdowns in the first half of this game. You know, like a five or six. I don't know if it's five or six in a quarter game. We could have five touchdowns. Okay, let's see. Rob Gronkowski. I'm going to try and hit him through the middle. That would be the ideal, but also, we can just run it. No, look at this. Just don't fumble whatever you do. Don't fumble. Okay, here we're going to look like the post road over the middle of the field. Oh, pressure. That should have been it. That honestly should have ended the entire streak at five, and that would have made it just like kind of an average thing. Luckily for me, he did not catch that. I don't know, maybe it's the Tom Brady effect. You just He throws it too hard. Defenders simply cannot catch it. Okay, um, I'm going to throw a bird card. Nice throw right on his cut. Okay, we have to score again before the end of halftime, before we jump into our CFM simulation with him to kind of see how he does in that, see how dominant he would be there. But our field test at the moment has proven uh, that's pretty impressive. Yo, man on man. Throw it up to the end zone. Chris Hogan comes down with it. Okay, how many seconds are left here? I don't know how long is left in this particular situation. Okay, 37 seconds. Let's do one more drive. We'll call this one the last one of the video because I honestly think at this point we can say that it is unstoppable for him to be stuck. Like, or he is completely unstoppable. Like, if you look at these routes, Tom Brady can hit those perfectly every single time. 
to a receiver. She puts them directly in their hands, and there's literally no way they can drop it. It's running ability. If they blitz me, if they get any pressure on me, I'm just going to run away and set myself up. Like, look, Jadavian Clowney. I, I, look, look what I can do to Jadavian Clowney. No. Yeah, get, out, get out of that pocket. Yo, you're gone, okay, Grunk. Get in front of me, Grunk. No blocks. And actually, for some weird reason, like, he seems ridiculously fast. But... I, I don't know. Like, he's not, like, blowing by everyone. Like, I guess defenders, cornerbacks are also super fast, so you don't notice a huge difference in that. But D linemen are, have been able to stick with him pretty well. Okay, let's see. If he makes this throw, he is the go. And he does. And what? Are you kidding me? Stay away from them. Spin move. Get up there. 42 to nothing here. Let's go post. Um, we're going to get Allen just on a straight streak. I'm going to look Hogan and Edelman. Just see if one of those guys uh, does find a way to get open. Wide over the middle to number 83. Why did you not go in? Why on earth did you not go in? I don't get it. What are we doing here, man? What kind of operation are we running here if you're not going to score on that, Allen? Okay, I'm going to give you another ball. No, you're not open this time. And look, the pressure does... Clowney does have the potential to sack me. That's crazy, though. I honestly didn't think that he did. But he got me there, okay. Hogan. Good way to end it. Wow. Just wow. So I did... Seven drives, or six drives. Um, I think seven times six, yeah, it's obviously 48. Six drives with these guys, I was unstoppable. I think we can say that he would be unstoppable on the field. It's time to go to simulate a full season with Tom Brady on CFM. Okay, so here we go. Now we have Tom Brady in the franchise mode. This is kind of the second part of the video. Uh, you can see the 99 speed, 99 acceleration is carrying and stuff. Didn't change. The only thing I wanted to mess with was his top line speed. We're just going to go ahead and sim this entire season. I will see you guys at the end. And we will kind of be able to tell how good of a season he has, how good the Patriots do with this. I saw how good it was in play now mode. So I imagine it's going to be pretty deadly. But we're going to sim to the Super Bowl. And yeah, just see if they get there and see how many yards and rushing yards and throwing yards and passing touchdowns that Tom Brady actually has. So I just simmed the entire season. I have no idea what to expect here. It could be crazy. It could be terrible. I want to see their record. Okay, they went 12-4. and four. It appears they are playing in the Super Bowl. So um, the one thing I want to see is how many rushing yards he actually went for. Because I didn't change any tendencies. I didn't make it so he scrambled more. I just made it so he was faster. So the real question lies is would he rush more if he did? I don't know why when I just said rush more, I thought of Mount Rushmore. It was stupid. You see that? How many rushing yards did he have? 11 for 19. So let me tell you guys a little something about Madden. It makes zero sense. You cannot tell me, you cannot look me in the eye, man, like you're looking me in the eye right now as I look on the screen, that Tom Brady in this situation would only rush for 19 yards on the entire season, and even his rushes only got him 1.7 per. They're probably going to win the Super Bowl. We're going to go ahead and sim the Super Bowl here just to see if they actually win it. Uh, that will be like our final kind of test of how dominant Tom Brady would be with 99 overall speed. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you want me to try this with somebody else just to see like what would Le'Veon Bell be like or what would, no, this is a good one. What would, who's short? Honestly, I, I have no idea what I'm trying to say right now. I'm thinking of terrible ideas. You guys probably have better ones than I do. Eagles end up beating the Patriots in the Super Bowl. God bless you guys. I hope everyone enjoyed the video and I'll see you all next time.